Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Adam Binta Priyatna I am from Uin Syarif Hidayatullah, Jakarta I am going to express my opinion about dating in dating in Islamic perspective uh, In today's era, the majority of teenagers in Indonesia are currently in a dating relationship Dating activity are no longer in common these days They form romantic bonds without the proper halal boundaries and engage in interaction with the opposite sex that should not occur. Is dating to be Islam? Certainly no. Islam prohibits dating. In Islam, dating is considered a step toward adultery because in in it because it involves many prohibition such as looking at each other in a non mahram way let alone looking with less physical contact and other more forbidden actions in many cases in society dating becomes the starting point for adultery leading to unwanted pregnancies murders and other cr- criminal activity Islam strongly forbids dating, as stated in the Quran Surah Al Isra, verse 32, which means, uh, "And do not approach a lawful sexual intercourse, in that it is ever an immorality and is evil as a way." People argue that dating can be Islamic if dating were permissible. Why would it need the label Islamic? The label Islamic exists because it is problematic. How can dating be labeled Islamic when any re- relationship between non mahram individuals can uh, pot- potentially lead to sins starting from physical action to matter of the heart? Islam has never legalized dating. Islam uh, recognizes ta'aruf, not dating. Ta'aruf as prescribed in Syria is recommended by the Prophet Muhammad for couples who indeed to marry. Ta'aruf has many clear benefits and purposes. Ta'aruf exists to protect uh, oneself from negative influences as it is not encouraged for those who are engaged in Ta'aruf to be alone together. If they want to meet, there must be a cheaper one wherever his parents or a relative encourage that both parties are protected from sinful acts. Dating and Ta'aruf are two different things. They differ in the process and the outcome. Therefore, as a young generation who understand their religion, uh, we must be able to control ourselves and limit social interactions that can lead to the abyss of wrongdoing even under the pretext of law. Friends also have an active role in teaching their children the importance of religious knowledge to protect themselves from any actions that violate uh, violate religious norm. Uh, that's my recommendation about the thing in Islamic perspective. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.